Hi guys, this is uh, Stefan Lesage again from the iTutor podcast and today we are back with uh, another English uh, tutorial and this time we're going to have a look at organizing your uh, Aperture libraries. Before we start though, I have to tell you guys that there, there is no really one single way of uh, doing it. There, there is no perfect solution to this. Uh, everybody can have his own structure within his Aperture library. So uh, what I will show you is uh, something I have been using because it's, it gets me to my pictures really fast. But uh, some other people for more professional reasons can use a completely different organization. In today's tutorial, we're going to have a look at uh, using libraries, uh, folders, projects and smart al albums to get your uh, Aperture library organized. We have a lot of things to cover again, so let's uh, start right away. The next step is to create a project for your shoots, for example. In my personal library, I will have a project for every event, for example. Uh, or trip to Bulgaria, but this could all also be uh, birthday parties for uh, my son Jens, for example. Could also be some trips we did to Amsterdam or the Ardennes, or uh, some uh, Block World Expo, for example. It could just be anything. Every project in my case uh, contains all images, folders and smart albums for that particular uh, event or shoot. As you can see, I have a uh, a project here for our uh, trip to Rodos and we went back uh, two years. So I created two smart albums within that project to have uh, a separation of images taken in 2005 and 2006. You might decide to create two separate projects for that if you want to, but that's completely up to you. I know back in the early days of Aperture there was a, a limit of, uh, uh, I believe, 10,000 images for uh, a single project, so a project could only contain 10,000 images, but by now the uh, limit has been raised to 100,000 images for every project. So this means I can easily uh, group, for example, all my uh, parties, like uh, I think we have Christmas Eve parties. And as you can see, I have uh, images from 2002, 2003, 2005, 7, 8. It seems I'm missing 2006 for some reason. Mm -hmm. But since I won't be uh, hitting the limit of 100,000 images uh, soon within that project, I can keep all uh, Christmas-related images into a single project and then separate them by uh, using smart albums. I did start another Aperture library, I think, in 2009 or 2010, I can't really remember. And in that library, I used uh, even bigger projects. For example, I had parties, all my parties and dinners in one single project. And then I had smart albums for Christmas parties, uh, New Year's parties, uh, birthday parties and everything. But I found out that uh, this uh, didn't really suit my needs all that well. More, more specifically, if I go back to my Aperture library and I click on projects, I will see that every project will be in here and I can quickly skim through my images for every project in my library if I wanted to. And if I create really big projects, like for example, parties, then I will have all the images of all the parties for every year into one single uh, project in here. So it is a little bit more difficult to have a look at it. And that's why I'm uh, now switching back to my old structure which has really smaller projects and uh, uh, makes it for me easier to uh, find things back. Again, projects in themselves can uh, also contain images. Uh, project can contain images, but can also contain folders by year, for example. And every folder can then contain a set of albums or smart albums or books or uh, cards or whatever. So you can also have a, an organization within a project if you wanted to. Okay, you may already have noticed that I'm using quite a lot of uh, smart albums in my case. Uh, if you remember my previous tutorial, I'm also using quite a lot of uh, keywords. 
and using the combination of those keywords, location, uh, places, and faces, I can easily create smart albums which contain only a certain set of images. For example, I have a folder here in which I have a few smart albums organized by person, for example, or images in which my son has been tagged, or uh, I think it's the tag is Jens. You see a lot of images, uh, a lot of tags in my case. Tagged with keyword Jens, or his face has been detected in the image. And I use this, uh, for example, for myself as well. Uh, my wife, this one isn't correct yet, so let's correct it. It's the name is Tanya, not Stefan. It's Tanya, and the face will be Tanya as well. Here we go. So all images in which I can find my wife, and also I created an, uh, a smart album in which I have some faces which are detected, but I haven't uh, already named them. I can also use smart albums within projects, of course, or within a certain level of my hierarchy. For example, if I will have a look at uh, walking, uh, hiking trips, again, I have a smart album with uh, images I still have to look at. And then I could have smart albums within projects up. Or even more of them. You can use that uh, to uh, catalog your images or to organize your images and quickly find them back, find back the best shots or something similar. Usually I tend to uh, import my images and uh, have a quick look, delete uh, those, for example, which aren't really in focus or which I didn't really like a lot. And then I will start tagging them so they uh, appear in uh, the corresponding smart albums. And I could also use a single uh, album, for example, a normal album to uh, drop images in, uh, which I will upload to Flickr, for example. Okay, by now you should have seen that there are many uh, different approaches to organize, organizing your images in Aperture. And there isn't really a single perfect way. I mean, I could have a certain uh, way of organizing my images for snapshot images and a completely different way of organizing more professional shoots if I wanted to. Personally, I did pick uh, an, an organization which uh, suits my need and my need was uh, quickly find my images back for this uh, personal library. One thing to remember though is that you can do a lot of uh, things with, with folders. Not only can you use the folders to organize stuff within a project, but you can also use folders to organize your projects themselves. And grouping projects together in fol folders uh, allows you to create smart albums or to use smart albums, which will only show the images within that specific uh, branch of the hierarchy, or even smart albums, which will uh, contain images from different projects if they are grouped within a single uh, folder, for example. <laughs> Okay, by now we have reached uh, the end of this tutorial, so I hope you learned a few things about uh, folders and projects, libraries and smart albums. I hope you enjoyed uh, this tutorial and you learned a few things. If you did or if you have your own uh, way of organizing your images and you want to share that with me and with the rest of our uh, viewers, then please feel free to leave a comment on our website at itutorpodcast.com. From here on, uh, you will see that I have a new structure and you can immediately click through the Aperture Tutorials or you could have a look at the podcast page. And you should find the posts uh, for this episode, which is episode 28. And at the bottom of this page, you can easily leave a comment or uh, a suggestion for uh, the next post of the next uh, tutorial. If you have some additional time, please feel free to leave a comment in the iTunes Music Store. Let me close this window. Uh, how can you do that? Well, simply open the iTunes Music Store, search for iTutor Podcast, and click, click uh, through to the page of the iTutor Podcast, and 
leave a comment at uh, the bottom of this page. This really helps us a lot because it uh, allows us to gain a little more exposure and uh, to find the podcast easier in uh, the iTunes Music Store. I would like to use the opportunity to thank uh, someone because I noticed that I received the first uh, review in the US iTunes Store. So thank you for that. Uh, I really appreciate that. And I hope that uh, some new ones or some uh, more uh, reviews will appear. Any additional feedback is also welcome, of course, on the website. In the meantime, I will be preparing for the next tutorial uh, in my Aperture series. And I think we will probably have a look at uh, how I import my images and uh, what my workflow is. But until then, I hope you will help me spread the word about the iTunes podcast. Thanks a lot for your time and I'll speak to you in the next tutorial.